Hi everyone, in this video, we'll see how to install a certificate in Android device or Android emulator. Uh, so first, uh, we have created a emulator in using Android Studio. We can use any other emulator which is provided uh, on Google and uh, we can use physical device as well. So for example, I have using the Android Studio and created an emulator. Now, once you have an emulator up and running, open the settings icon here. Uh, after open the settings, then scroll down to security option. To security option. Once after open the security, uh, we'll have in more options here. Under that, uh, we'll need to select uh, more options and the credentials. More security settings. For selecting the more security settings, uh, we need to select the credentials here, trusted credentials. So here encryption and credentials. This one. The option will change from the version to version of Android uh, and mobile to mobile as well. So this name title will be changed according to the uh, mobile manufacturer. And you should at last if I use to see the trusted credential option. If you open a trusted credential option, uh, you should have two tabs. One is system and another is user. So system is the certificate which are trusted as a root certificate. And um, this is the user, user trusted certificate. So sometimes uh, we need to, we may need to install a certificate as a system or root and sometimes we sometimes it's only uh, uh i mean it's only sufficient to install as a user is a certificate so now we need to install a certificate in a uh, user so for this uh, we have uh, uh, multiple ways like the first thing is like uh, adding the attachment the adding the certificate to your attachment in email uh, attachment in email and send it to your email or uh, which the email is using in your device i mean like let's say now if i'm using some uh, email abc gmail.com in in this mobile then try to send a uh, send a attachment with certificate the certificate which is added as the attachment uh, to this email which is in this mobile gmail device okay the uh, email in this gmail app Okay, once that is done, so you can uh, download into your into your uh, internal storage in, onto, into your phone. Once that is uh, downloaded, then this is the procedure that we can install. So now uh, uh, the second, I'm trying the second way because I have not configured the Gmail and everything. So for that, what I'm doing is like uh, I enable the SD, SD card. So in this SD card, I'm going to upload. So you can select the you can uh, here we have option called SD card. So right click upload. So in this uh, in this uh, I have the certificate which I want to upload. Now save the certificate. You can see the progress bar and it was shown me that upload successfully. So uh, it will be uploaded in documents if you see this download. So I have I have, uh, I have uh, go to recents. Okay, it was installed in root, root directory. So, if possible to move, we can move it to, or we can we will upload this to downloads directly, then download folder. So now it was uploading to the download folder. It was uploaded to download. Now if we expand, it was showing in the download folder. Now what you need to do is we need to do the same operation again. Uh, now go to the files. If you open the files, uh, you will you will see the download cert, uh, option uh, certificate in the downloads folder. Now you have to go just to verify whether the certificate is uh, downloaded in your downloads or not. Just to verification, we have came here. Um, now the installation process starts. Go to the settings, security again. Security again. 
last time when we show in the beginning of the video that was to see the, uh, the certificates what we have installed now this is the procedure to show how to install certificate now go to the same option encryption and credentials uh, so under the encryption and credentials you have multiple options if you see here we have option called install a certificate okay install a certificate from registry card uh, click on install certificate uh, we have three different types of uh, types of certificate we can install so if you are specifically installing a certificate for uh, wi-fi you can select the, this option or if you are trying to install certificate of vpn or any app certificates then you can use uh, vpn and app user certificates that will be that will specific to the specific app only now this is to the uh, now we are using ca certificate so digital certificate uh, once you click on ca certificate uh, it will show you a big warning here so select the install anyway the de don't install is highlighted by default so select install anyway uh, next it will here it will show you the file manager now uh, from here you need to select uh, you, can, you should navigate to uh, the respect to app here respect to folder i mean like uh, respect to folder whether it's in downloads documents recent whatever so uh, here it will show you a certificate install here certificate install now if you go to the trusted certificate go to the trusted certificates it will show you the user certificates trusted certificates it will show the certificate under user tab so as i'm recording as i'm recording the screen and i'm using the emulator it was taking most of most of the memory and so it was showing the pop-up here so regularly generally it will not show it don't use any other software which is consuming more memory as I'm recording uh, the screen uh, with audio and uh, screen uh, along with the emulator, so which consumes the most of the memory. That's the reason why it was showing that it is not system uh, settings is not responding. So if you see here, I have installed the JMeter root certificate for recording. Okay. Uh, in next video, we will see how to install a certificate under system. Thanks for listening.